set of uh, speakers, we would like uh, the voice, voice of the elders. Um, these are elder statesmen and women who um, have a lot to talk about and a lot to share with us, uh, the younger generation. Um, first of all, we do have a media entrepreneur and founder of Ebony Live TV, one of the media supporters of this particular event. We're also broadcasting live on their platform. Um, the one and only Mo Abudu, she'll be here talking about the power of dreaming doer. A round of applause for her as she makes her way to the stage. Um, and of course, uh, who else do we have? Um, our next speaker is the one and only Dr. Obiageli Ezekwesili. She's a mentor to almost all of us here, and she's a living asset to this nation, Nigeria. Uh, we also have Nigeria's former High Commissioner to the United Kingdom and uh, Pro-Chancellor of the Pan-Atlantic University, uh, formerly called Pan-African University, the one, the only, the elder himself, Dr. Christopher Kolade. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And the last but not the least is the Managing Director of Sahara Group, the one and only Tonye Cole. He's here to talk about what my generation got wrong. We're not too far ahead from them, so we would very much love to hear what his views are on what it is that we could do better as a nation and as a generation. Um, do not forget to join the conversation, and all you just need to do is uh, SMS. That's uh, your name, your ONG with uh, forward slash your name, forward slash email, forward slash local government, forward slash your state. And uh, just send a text to 20050. Hashtag Gen Voices Telephone. And once again, we'd like to uh, thank all of the chapters involved, streaming live and listening to us here. Thank you very much. And just to reiterate uh, another point also, we were back from Abuja, but there are other 30 other chapters across the world uh, New York, Ghana, UK, Cyprus, Ghana, all having viewing centers, and they're all witnessing what we are witnessing right here, real time. So a round of applause and a big shout out to the other, the other Gen Voices. At this junction, I'd like to call on our first speaker for today, uh, the media entrepreneur, founder Ebony Live TV, and of course, uh, the host of Moments with Mo, and uh, a great supporter of this cause. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Mo Abudu. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The generation, they refer to us as the elders, so I'm not quite sure we agree with that terminology, but um, I guess we are older. So we have experienced life a little bit more only um, but it's good to be here. It's really um, a wonderful thing to see this generation doing really amazing things. Um, so it's, it's my honor to be here and to share, you know, some of the things that I have done over the years with you. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. And I think we learn from all the mistakes and the things that we do well, we continue to do them even better. Um, they said I should talk about, you know, from the dream to doing. Um, and, and I think for me, that, that is really pretty much the story of my life. I believe so much in the power of execution. You know, um, I've always run all sorts of organizations or worked with organizations. And, you know, we have these major planning meetings and we're talking about we're going to do A, we're going to do B, we're going to do C. And as we're thinking about these things, the thing that occurs to me is who is going to do the work? That's all I ever think about. Whenever, whenever I get an email from a member of staff having some great, wonderful idea about a project, immediately my next question is, who is going to do it? Do we have the resources to do it? How are we going to do it? When are we going to do it? Et cetera, et cetera. Those are the key questions I think we need to ask ourselves about from having a dream to ensuring that dream becomes a reality. A few tips, I, I sort of made, jotted down a few points. Um, I think it's really important to start with a really massive dream. You know, um, I've often been accused of dreaming too big, but I don't think you can ever dream too big because no matter how big that dream is, it's always better to end up with 
a portion of it. So if your dream starts really small, then what do you end up with? Maybe nothing. So I think it's very important to have a really, really massive dream. And, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I've got two minutes left. Um, to have a really, really massive dream and then see how you can start to execute pieces of that dream. And, you know, the thing about having dreams is that pretty much in my life, I've had many, many dreams. I mean, I've gone from working in ExxonMobil as head of HR for many years to running a consultancy business to doing a couple of projects that didn't quite work. So now ending up sort of, you know, being involved as part of a team um, running Ebony Life TV. Um, and I think that, you know, the thing about Ebony Life TV, people often ask me, Mo, how did you, where did the idea come from? And I always think there's two sides to a coin of where an idea comes from. One side is that Africa, Nigeria, is what I call the opportunity brand. There are so many opportunities here for all of us. So it's about identifying the opportunity that you want to align with. And then secondly, what I believe from the bottom of my heart, the other side of that coin is, is it God-inspired? So whatever it is I've ever done in my life, Yes, the whole world has gone technical and everything is very techy, which you can see I've still got my paper here, but that's not to say that I'm not also, um, you know, IT literate. I am, but I still like to have a pen and paper sometimes. It's what has God inspired you to do. So I often get on my knees and I say, Father, Lord God, this is the brand opportunity. I could be in the food business. I could be in the energy business. Whatever business I am in, Father, Lord God, what should it be? And the message was, Mo, build a platform that can engage young people, that can give a voice to this next generation. And that is exactly what we have done with Ebony Life TV. In partnership with Cross River State Government, we have taken Tinapa Studios that had been built eight years ago, never ever been used, and converted them into state-of-the-art studios, which is where we host um, and run most of our programs today and we broadcast live and this is actually going out live from there today um, it shows that you can take it from going from a dream to a reality by having a great team that believes in you that you can work together and say yes let's make things happen I'm out of time and I'm going to end by saying that I do have a famous quote which says that if you can think it you can do it. Let's continue this discussion online. I'm available 24-7. Thank you for your time.